So tonight for the 20 minute meal, we are making Mexican steak bowls. So of course the star of the show is some flank steak. Morgan's gonna cook that up on the skillet. Also to make this a 20 minute meal, get some easy rice. The Uncle Ben's um, microwave one is good. This is also microwave, but it comes frozen. We love this one. So we'll throw one of those in the microwave. We're also gonna heat up a can of black beans, and then you can add pretty much any garnish that you want. So we're gonna do some lime for the rice, some tomato, lettuce to bulk it up, jalapeno slices for a little spice, Morgan's gonna use some Mexican cheese, and then of course, whatever salsa that you like. I'm gonna use the salsa verde. I'm obsessed with this one lately. It's so good. So that is what you're gonna need. Super simple, cook everything up, throw it in a bowl, any toppings you want. You can also eat this multiple nights, switch up the protein, or cook all of the protein on night one, and then just heat up some new rice every night. Boom, dinner is done. All right, so we're going to get our steak skillet heating at about medium high. And we're going to probably cook it in some olive oil. I'm gonna let Morgan man the steak, but I'm gonna get that out for him. Probably put it on the counter. Uh, and then back here is where we're going to throw in the black beans. All right, y'all, Morgan just threw the steak in, just a little salt and pepper. We are going to assemble our bowls. Got the rice, just came out of the microwave. Super hot. I like to add a good amount of lettuce to mine. A squeeze of lemon or lime on your rice? Yeah. All right, y'all, so Morgan was on the phone with his mom, so we delayed cooking a little bit, but we started the steak at 6.25. That is when I filmed the steak on the stove, and it is currently 6.38. So it took us, what is that, 14 minutes? And that's it. It was more like 10, honestly. Yeah, 10 right. minutes. I mean, the steak, when it's all cut tiny like this, cooks in minutes. Yeah, it, it, it really was only like five minutes for, those, for that steak. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Definitely give this one a try and you can switch up your proteins and your toppings. I'm doing ranch this time instead of sour cream like I usually do. Sometimes I add Taco Bell hot sauce. Really up to you. For tonight's quick dinner, we are making fish tacos. Originally, it was gonna be shrimp tacos, but honestly, this fish is calling my name tonight. So I'm gonna use the Gorton's Crunchy Breaded Fillets. Um, here are the macros if you're interested but we're going to use those some of our carb sense flour tortillas i don't have any slaw but i do have some romaine that needs to be used up so that will be a good crunch for mine morgan is going to have some cheese and salsa on his and for um, mine i made a little sauce as well let me show you what i added to this honestly i just kind of winged it um but i used like two parts sour cream to one part light mayo. 
And then I added a little splash of lime juice, a little splash of jalapeno juice, teensy bit of hot sauce. Sriracha would be way better. And then I also added some cumin, also paprika and chili powder. I already put those two away um, and just kind of, you know, added it, stirred it, tasted it, added something else kind of a thing. Um, and it turned out so good. So really any, I mean, I would say this is a good base and then just an acid. So like lime and then season it however you want. Super easy. Um, I'll kind of write out what I did, but there's tons of recipes for um, like slaw sauces, fish taco sauces on Pinterest. So that's a good place to look where you can find one using stuff you already have on hand. I am just gonna go ahead and make the whole bag. It comes with 10. I'm thinking Morgan will have probably four. I'll have two or three. And it just seemed weird to leave two or three in the bag. Um, so the cooking instructions you can see is conventional oven. You could definitely do an um, air fryer, but since we're cooking so many, I'm just gonna use the oven today. So I'm gonna do a little bit of the lettuce on each tortilla, just like a little bit of crunch. And then the fish, I'm going to kind of break it. I'm going to have to do this with two hands, but you get the idea. I'm going to kind of break it into pieces like so. And then I'm going to go in with the drizzle. I added a little bit of um, almond milk just to thin it out. Unsweetened, obviously. doesn't really have much of a flavor. And there we go tomato on this like a little pico would be so good i wish we had some but i used my last tomato yesterday for tonight's super easy 20 minute dinner we are making shrimp po'boys specifically bang bang shrimp po'boys and i'm super excited so i just got some regular old sub rolls we're using some frozen shrimp lettuce and tomato of course and then we're going to make a sauce with the sweet chili sauce from trader joe's they sell this at regular stores as well. Um, some light mayo and about a tablespoon of peanut butter. Serving it with chips because we're keeping it easy. I'm so excited to try this recipe. Let me show you how quick it comes together. Okay, so we had a bit of a fail. <laughs> I read, so I found that three ingredient bang bang sauce on Pinterest and I thought, oh, that sounds so good. And I was like, I'll probably just omit the peanut butter, but so many people commented that it like made the sauce. So I was like, okay, it must do something. It makes the sauce taste exactly like peanut butter. So I went in with just equal parts mayo and sriracha, or no, I'm sorry, mayo and Thai sweet chili sauce. Um, and then I did probably two tablespoons of sriracha. Just do your own spice level. And then I probably did equal parts of the sour cream because then it just tasted like mayonnaise and it didn't taste like a sauce. So I think the key is equal parts, sour cream, mayo, and sweet chili sauce, and then sriracha to taste. And it does taste really good. Also, I made like an offensive amount. Like how are we gonna get through this much sauce? never will but it turned out pretty easy so you know do as I say not as I do we had a little oopsie but it's gonna turn out just fine all right y'all we've got the oven here on a 350 we are going to throw in our bread just for a few minutes to kind of get it toasted up so I have two of these and I did cut them open um, and I just want these nice and warm and a little bit crispy um, so I'm gonna throw this in while we cook the shrimp and here I'm on medium high heat. A little bit of olive oil is already down in the pan. Throw the shrimp in. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of salt and a 
little bit of pepper, and we're gonna let the sauce that we're adding season the shrimp for the most part. Final product looks so amazing. Once I threw the shrimp on, I mean, 15 minutes later, we have a full plate. I'm gonna add some chips and we're ready to eat. Okay, y'all, Morgan gives this a... Yes, an A plus for sure. A plus. I surprisingly added a little bit of sriracha to mine. I'm becoming a spicy girl. I don't know, it's weird, but it really gives the sauce, like maybe I just needed to add more to the sauce, but it, does, it gives it just a little kick of flavor. I'm a huge fan. I do think I could have seasoned my shrimp a little bit better, but that's on me. Overall, we'll definitely make this again. Yeah. I love a good shrimp po' boy too. Yeah. And, and it's it was, a good like Asian flavor. Yeah. Like, I think that little bit of extra sriracha gave it just a little bit of spice. Yeah. That was like perfect. So It I really it. makes it so good. And it took like literally 20 minutes. Yeah. So easy.